<clears throat> hey guys, this is the Dark Passenger. So yeah, I've pretty much known for a while now so that they're going to be remaking Wrong Turn, you know, doing a reboot of the 2003 slasher movie of the same name, which, you know, and that movie, you know, was pretty, pretty good, you know, it's pretty underrated, it's, it's about a group of people, a group of six people who get stuck in, in the woods of West Virginia and end up being hunted by these cannibalistic uh, mountain men. But, you know, for this, this remake, for this remake, the plot seems to be a bit different. I'm not gonna really, I'm not even gonna try to explain it because I don't really, don't really care, but it's, my, my main issue is that they're remaking it at all, I think it's unnecessary, they should just leave it alone, you know, it was underrated, but then, you know, the, the sequels, in my opinion, kind of made it, made that first movie more well known, if you think about it, because, I mean, you had the first one, I guess not, not too many people knew about it, not too many people had seen it. No, I was one of them and I really did enjoy it. Then Wrong Turn 2, Dead End came out. And that was kind of bloody, gory, more brutal. It, it was more of a horror, horror comedy, more of a dark comedy. It, you know, and then Wrong Turn 3, Left for Dead came out, directed by Declan O'Brien. And that movie, to me, you know, really sucked. I mean, and Three Fingers Makeup, and that was pretty shit. Then, you know, there was Wrong Turn 4, Bloody Beginnings, and this is kind of the start of the prequel, uh, prequel story, you know, prequel kind of, um, how they first started killing, I guess you could say, I mean, whatever. It's about all three of them, pretty much. You know, the fourth one was set in the mental hospital, and then they escaped, and then, in, you know, in the fifth one, it's kind of, they're having a festival in, in town, in some town in West Virginia, I don't really remember, you know, where exactly it was, but it was called, like, the Mountain Man Festival or something like that, and they were, you know, pretty much showed them picking off a bunch of people there. And then Wrong Turn 6 came out, which wasn't that great either. I didn't really... Well, at the first time I watched it, I thought it was decent, but then I rewatched it and rewatched it a while, you know, after a while, and then and I didn't end up liking it so much the second time, probably because of all that um, incest, incest stuff, you know. You know, I mean, how they, yeah, I'm not really going to get into that, but the fact that they reboot, you know, the reason it doesn't need a, re is a re uh, reboot is because that first Wrong Turn movie isn't that old. It's not that old at all. It's probably about, uh, let's see, came out in 2003, so that would make it 17 maybe 16, 17 years old, I guess, approximately, so it's not really that old, they don't need to do it, they, they should be, I mean, there are other older, older horror movies that they could remake, you know, they're doing another Grudge remake, but, you know, I'll probably do, I'll do a separate video talking about that. I just don't think this is a good idea, it's unnecessary, they shouldn't do it. That's my opinion. So yeah, just let me know what you guys think, should should it be rebooted or not. So yeah, that's pretty, pretty much all I gotta say, thanks for watching, please subscribe, stay tuned for more reviews, thoughts, updates, 
movie news. Peace.